Bomir keyboards are the best. I've been a fan of 65% keyboards for a while now, so I was looking forward to this keyboard. This keyboard packs with awesome features like an acrylic case and hot swap got around switches. Let's open it up and check it out. So looking at the box, there is some branding on it. It shows you some of the features, just such as the 68 keys and the red switches. Okay, so first up we have the user manual. It tells you how to work the RGB and do the specific functions. We got the keyboard, of course, wrapped nicely with some foam around it that protects it. Wow. Look at this thing here. We have a 1.8 meter USB-C to USB-A cable. It's white, so it matches with the keycaps. We got a brush. Look at that. So you can clean the dust off your keyboard. And then we also got a keycap puller and a switch puller. Let's have a look at the design right here. So with 68 keys, this means that it is a 65% keyboard. It's comparable to a 60% keyboard right here. So, so this one is, as you can see, one row shorter than the 65% keyboard. This is the 60%. You do get more functionality with the 65% Anything to the right of the enter key as well as the function row is removed by the 65% form factor. So as you can see, you have your own dedicated arrow keys, page up and down, delete, and whatever this key is right here. I just like the 65% layout more because it's really convenient because I use the arrow keys a lot. Moving on to the construction quality and design. With a translucent casing constructed of high quality acrylic material, the case has a high quality compact design. Now if we look at the side, we can get a clearer view of the keyboard's profile. And we can see that it is made up of three layers of acrylic. You can also see that the keys are kind of floating which means that the switches are exposed. The light can shine through the case pretty well which I love a lot. Okay, so now if we flip it over, you can see that there are some rubber feet on the back. There's one big one, two big ones at the top, and then this long rubber feet in the middle, and then two small ones at the bottom corner. And with the acrylic case, you can really see the PCB at the bottom. Look at that. And you can see the light diffusing through the case. And these bumps right here do give an extra elevation to the keyboard so it's not flat and then you also get a usb type c port at the top right of the keyboard okay so i really want to talk about this feature right here so again this is hot swappable meaning you can easily swap out the switches if you are satisfied with the red switches okay so as you can see here the keyboard supports three and five pin switches so you can replace them with any Gateron, Kale, Cherry, or other switches that features a 3 or 5 pin design. And this is perfect for me because I can't seem to pick my favorite switches, so being able to switch them out is definitely a game changer. So we got Gateron switches right here, Gateron yellows, and then Gateron black. And it's that easy to take them out and switch and replace them. Let's take a look at the stabilizers. In terms of the stabilizers, you can really notice the rattle here. Unfortunately, look at that. It's really wobbly and rattly. I personally recommend you do some lubing or mod to it. Like putting dielectric grease or even putting tape in between the stabilizer and the casing right here in this area.
Okay, so let's talk about the RGB because it's one of the nicest aspects of this keyboard in my opinion. You can experience the full RGB awesomeness of this keyboard thanks to its frosted acrylic casing. The RGB is quite bright and pleasant to look at. There are several lighting effects to choose from, including brightness, colorway, case color, and more. So let's take a look at the RGB effects individually. You don't, and you don't even need a software with this keyboard. You got the manual right here that will tell you how to do the effects and all that goodness. Overall, the Womir K68 has a beautiful acrylic case here, and I would recommend this keyboard because of its sleek design, bright RGB, and hot swappable feature. Thank you Womir for sending me this keyboard. If you want more information about this keyboard, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. Have a wonderful gaming day. Bye and hope to see you on the next video.